This school in need is raising money, not for themselves, but for a country 2,000 miles away. Stonegate Christian Academy teamed up with Feed the Need for their first fundraiser project. Today we are packaging 10,000 meals to send over to Haiti. We're always having fundraisers for us because we're always in need. Vans, technology, scholarships. So we thought, let's go outside ourselves and give back. And so this was a perfect way for us to do that. Teachers, students, parents, and other volunteers filled this room to reach their goal of 10,000 meals, 1,500 of which will be donated to a local organization. After watching an instructional video on how to pack the food in a safe and healthy way, it was time to get started. We are labeling all of these little bags here. We, we're given good training, and once we <laughs> get them labeled, we move them on over. And we're packaging rice, soy, vegetables, and vitamins to the people in Haiti, and we're just going to package them, weigh them, and then put them in boxes. Yes, we make sure it, that it weighs between 380 to 400 grams. Um, that's the requirement. Um, each ingredient is properly rationed in each bag so they have the right amount of nutrients for each meal. What we've done is we've put four ingredients in a bag and what we're doing is we are sealing it shut but once, not twice, but twice. Basically we're packing, we have 40 meals and we're going to box them up and they're all labeled here so we have to put two on each number, 20 numbers obviously, and then we, when we get 40 we box them up and go on to the next box. One healthy meal packet feeds a family of six, and one box contains 1,000 meals. Every finished box was taken to the back wall and then celebrated. We've had 2,000 meals! <laughs> Once the food gets delivered to the families in Haiti, they will then take the meal packet from the box and follow the labeled instructions right here. Add the packet to six cups of boiling water, stir, cover, and cook for 20 minutes on low heat. After 20 minutes, your nutritious meal filled with soy, protein, vitamins, and minerals is ready to eat. Not bad. The parents at Stonegate Christian Academy understand the meaning of giving back. Sometimes we as Americans get so involved in just what we're doing and what's for us and all of that and a lot of our kids here, you know, they don't, they don't think about suffering for meals and they don't think about suffering for anything really. And so it was such a burden on my heart to have our kids get beyond themselves and do something that's bigger and greater than what's just them. As for the students, they were surprised kids their age starve and feel it's a blessing to help them survive. It feels really like a mission opportunity and being a blessing, you know, because we're not, we're not only sharing food, we're sharing God's love. I appreciate it because, you know, it's nice to give to the people and they've gone through a lot of hard times, you know. Working up to this big day, the students competed in different fundraising competitions to raise money to purchase the food. We had a contest with uh, some of our elementary kids to just say, hey, in your own words, you know, decorate your door, and one of them was, I wouldn't like being hungry. We have done many fundraising opportunities and incentives. There has been, like, if you had made a video, you could win money. The student who raised the most money was Ava Vaughn. I was a top fundraiser at my school. After a successful event, the Academy is excited to serve others in the years to come. Giving back is really important. You can get in such a situation where it's oh what we need what we need what we need instead of what we have and what we can give so this was a perfect way for us to do that for about town this is amshi stephenson reporting